Hello everyone, today we'll have a look at three of the most common verbs in Slovene, to be, to have, and to want. Apart from them being verbs that are very frequent, there is another thing they have in common and that sets them apart from every other Slovene verb. Let's have a look at what that is. To be or biti, to have or imeti, and to want or hoteti are the only three exceptions when it comes to negating verbs in the present tense. They are negated differently than all other Slovene verbs in the present tense. All the other verbs are negated by putting ne in front of the conjugated verb form, but that's not the case with these three. Since they're verbs that are so common and used so often, I just recommend learning both the affirmative and negative forms of biti, imeti, and hoteti by heart, even as a complete beginner. Now first, let's have a look at a verb that's negated regularly before dealing with these three. The verb iti, or to go, is itself an exception, because the present tense form differs a lot from the infinitive. But that's not important here, since we're interested in the negation. I just chose iti since it's a very common verb as well, and one of the first that I suggest committing to memory. Let's go through the affirmative forms now. Remember with the pronouns, blue stands for masculine, and purple feminine. Jas grim. Ti greš. On ona gre. Midva medve greva. Vidva vedve gresta. Ona dva, oni dve gresta. Mi, me gremo. Vi, ve greste. Oni, one greo. Okay, now let's negate it. We negate it simply by adding ne in front of the verb. This time, let's leave the dual and plural feminine pronouns out. Remember, the masculine pronouns refer both to men as well as to mixed groups, so they're used more often. Jas ne grem. Ti ne greš. On ona ne gre. Mi dva ne greva, vi dva ne gresta, ona dva ne gresta. Mi ne gremo, vi ne greste, oni ne greo. This is how to negate any Slovene verb in the present tense except to be, to have, and to want. So, how are those negated? Biti or to be is negated by using ni instead of ne, putting it in front of the verb and making one word out of it. There is only one exception to this rule. We'll have a look at that in just a moment. With imeti, it's very similar to biti because we just put n in front of the verb form and again make one word out of it. Imeti starts with an i, so the letter i is already there, and so we just add n. Similar to biti, right? However, there's also a change in stress with imeti that we will explain shortly. With hoteti, the rule is pretty straightforward as well. Just replace all h's with n's. You can also remember to just cut the top part of a lowercase h and so make it an n. Whatever works. So now that we've explained the rules, let's have a look at all three verbs, starting with biti. To negate biti, we said just use ni instead of ne and make one word out of it. We also said there's only one exception to this rule. Try spotting the exception yourself when we go over the negations. But first, the affirmative forms. Jas sam. Ti si. On ona je. Mi dva sva. Vi dva sta. Ona dva sta. Mi smo. Vi ste. Oni so. And now for the negated forms. Jas nisam. Ti nisi. On ona ni. Mi dva nisva. Vi dva nista. Ona dva nista. Mi nismo. Vi niste. Oni niso. Were you able to spot the exception to the rule? The exception is, of course, the third person singular, so he or she is. Since it's not on nie and ona nie, but simply on ni and ona ni. Also, notice that the stress always falls on the ni. Yes, nisam, ti nisi, and so on. Okay, let's continue with imeti or to have. Yas imam, ti imash. On ona ima. Midva imava, vidva imata, ona dva imata. Mi imamo, vi imate, oni imajo. See how the stress always falls on the first A. In the negated form, just like with biti, it'll fall on the I. Let's have a look. Jas nimam, ti nimaš, on ona nima. Mi dva nimava, vi dva nimata, ona dva nimata. Mi nimamo, vi nimate, oni nimajo. So n in front of the verb, make one word out of it and shift the stress from the a to the i. 
Also, since informal Slovene differs quite a bit from formal Slovene, it's worth mentioning that in colloquial Slovene, as spoken in Ljubljana, the I in the affirmative forms is often omitted. So you'll often hear jasmam, ti maš, on ona ma, and so on. Okay, and finally, on to hoteti or to want. Jas hočem, ti hočeš, on ona hoče. Midva hočeva. Vidva hočeta. Ona dva hočeta. Mi hočemo. Vi hočete. Oni hočejo. And for the negation, we said just replace all the H's with N's. If it helps, just think of the hypothetical verb noteti instead of hoteti and conjugate it the same way. Whatever works. Jas nočem. Ti nočeš. On ona noče. Midva nočeva. Vidva nočeta, ona dva nočeta, mi nočemo, vi nočete, oni nočejo. And that's pretty much it. To review, let's look at the rules just one more time before ending the lesson. With biti, use ni instead of ne, make one word instead of two, and keep in mind that the third person singular, so he or she is, is an exception. Since imiti already starts with an i, we'll just add an n. Again, making one word instead of two and paying attention to the stress change from the A to the I. And with hoteti, we'll just imagine the verb noteti and conjugate it accordingly. Basically, just replace all H's with N's like we said. And that's it. For the present tense, all other Slovene verbs are negated by putting ne in front of the verb. Like I said, I suggest learning biti, imeti and hoteti as soon as possible, since they're both an exception and verbs that are used very frequently as well. Well, that's it for today. As always, good luck, study hard, and aim for the stars.